And I love what you say about, um, you know, you do, sometimes you don't know what you're doing at the time. You look back from the future and you see that maybe what you were doing was significant. At the time, you don't have a clue what you're up to. Um, Kierkegaard said, life is lived forwards and understood backwards. Uh, often in conferences and in churches, people say, uh, fulfill your dreams, as if that's the best thing you can do. You know, fulfill your dreams. You can fulfill your dreams. But sometimes um, there's a more radical challenge because the problem is our dreams are reified, um, idealized versions of our present understanding. Um, in other words, a fairy tales tell you something about the society out of which they arose. In Western society, poor people become wealthy, powerless people become powerful. In, West, in the Eastern kind of society, uh, powerful people become powerless, wealthy people bec um, give their possessions away. So these, these fairy tales tell you something about the values of your society, and fairy tales are a way of passing those values, values and, um, onto the next generation. So sometimes the most challenging thing is not to fulfill your dreams, but to place yourself in a position where you can dream new ones. And, and that means stepping out of everything you know and trying to do something utterly different, allowing something new to take place. Yes.